Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Empire Bloodlines Black Limited Edition. Uh, this is part of the Kickstarter campaign that was done by Kings and Crooks, which is Lee McKenzie. And he released a Kickstarter for his new Empire line. Uh, you might remember he did Empire a while ago. But uh, this is his new release, which was the Bloodlines edition. He had two solid colors uh, that were part of the general campaign, uh, royal blue and emerald green. Just to let you know a little bit about the Bloodlines playing cards, uh, they were inspired by just the beautiful and ornate, uh, elegant stone engravings that came out of just all of the most powerful empires in history. And these cards are uh, homage to all of that. And I think that any uh, card lover, any artist, any magician, any player, or any card collector, uh, if you really like the original Empire deck, I think you're gonna really love these two. But like, again, even if you don't have that one, uh, these are a really cool standalone deck in and of themselves. It's not just a new you know, paint job, but not just a, a new color variation. They're completely original and uh, well worth adding to your collection. And so this is the black design. This is a limited edition run. Uh, there was only 2,000 of these made. Uh, the tuck case on this is black, similar to the other ones, although they were uh, white with a color added. These are black with white. Uh, it says Empire and Bloodlines right there. Kind of very similar to the other two, the blue and the green, uh, but this one's done in a black. Also, you'll notice that uh, instead of the color embellishments, uh, all of the uh, detail on this are done in a gold foil and it really shines there, really pops out and you can just see it catching the light. It's really beautiful and you see that there's another uh, custom tuck seal and just like the previous tucks, uh, the inside liner is detailed very ornately and then the little tongue flaps as well have some ornamentation on there. The tuck seal is unique to this also. You can see that it's numbered and this is a specific number out of a deck run of only 2,000. So this is one of 2,000. And originally I wasn't even gonna open mine uh, because of its limited run, but you know what I thought? I had to do a review for you guys, and so I opened mine just for you. The Tuck Case is a premium, uh, quality, luxurious, black soft touch paper box. Uh, and it's just, the, you know, every, every bell and whistle was pulled out on this, and it's just really, really beautiful. That is pretty much it for the Tuck Case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards were printed by the Legends Playing Card Company and they were done on their classic cardstock with their diamond finish. Uh, they're very thick, very snappy. They have a lot of action to them and they're very crisp and they feel very good in your hands. The corners are very smooth and uh, you just can't go wrong with Legends Playing Cards. The back design on the black limited edition are a full bleed back. Uh, again, it has that center cigar band and just seems to carry the same kind of style and uh, variation that the original Bloodline style had also. You can also see that the metallic gold is uh, across some of the details in this as well, and so that is a really nice touch. The faces on this deck are kept clean. They're not a full black uh, with the limited edition, and so you're gonna find each index, each pip, each court, all of the detail that you had in the original uh, Empire Bloodlines deck but these have that shimmering gold effect uh, going throughout. And you're gonna see the gold on the court cards, you're gonna see them on the pips, you're gonna see them even on the jokers. Two jokers in the Empire Bloodlines limited edition are uh, stone engraving, and you can see they're very gargoyle-esque. Uh, this one is just your standard joker, and this one is your card reveal. Notice that the card reveal is in its mouth, but it's also up there in the description as well. Well, that is pretty much it for this deck review of the Empire Bloodlines Limited Edition. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Now, if you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, and instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. Thanks. Bye.